Starting next week at the Paramount Theater, you'll see that rollicking comedy smash hit Pale Face, starring Bob Hope, America's favorite comedian, and lovely Jane Russell. Boy, what a pair! Listen now to this classic moment from an audience participation human interest program. And now our next contestant was chosen right from our studio audience. And uh, <laughs> listen to that little laugh she has there. It's so cute. Now, what's your name, ma'am? <laughs> Hilda Johnson. Well, Miss Johnson, you don't mind if I call you Hilda, do you? Correct. <laughs> Where are you from, Hilda? I'm from Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yes. <laughs> well, Hilda, what are you going to do with the money if you win? I have a very sick son. Listen to this disc jockey's introduction to Montavani's Lazy Gondolier. Designs and music continues now as we hear Montavani's most recent recording from London, Lousy Gondolier. <laughs> Let's listen now to a commercial for McPeter's Funeral Parlor. And friends, your loved ones can receive no finer care than that offered by McFuneral's Peter Parlor. And now we switch you to police headquarters downtown for further developments on the Mary Harkness case. This is Police Sergeant Edward O'Reilly. The parents of Mary Harkness have asked the police to search for their daughter, who has been missing since 6 p.m. yesterday. She was last seen wearing a blue sweater, gray skirt. Mary is 99 years old and weighs 9 pounds. Writer Clifford Irving entered the federal penitentiary at Lewisburg, Pennsylvania yesterday to begin a two-and-a-half-year jail sentence in the Howard Hughes autobiograph... autobiograph... in the automobile... in the hoax. A French-Canadian announcer blooped his way through this one. This is the Dominion Network of the Canadian Broadcorping Castration. You can save while you earn. Why not be smart? Where you work or where you bank, save up for a rainy day. Join the Blonde a Month plan. The most annoying thing, the most wonderful thing about this new DuPont paint is that it leaves no annoying panty odor. A young lady on a children's program relating the story of Cinderella came up with the following. Suddenly, Cinderella looked up at the clock. It was striking 12. As she ran from the palace, she dropped her slipper. But when she reached the door, she was again in rags as the wee bitching hour struck. Sometimes an announcer can get a cue prematurely. He may not be ready for it. Here is an example of the consequences. In Washington, General Bradley's speech today was one of several interesting news developments dealing with our military defenses. Here's a summary by Gunner Back. We seem to be unable to contact Washington at this time. Let's try once again. Our cue to Washington is here is a summary by Gunner Back. Sorry, we seem to be unable for some inexplicable reason to contact correspondent Gunner back in Washington, even as we have contacted him every night for the past eight years. Well, now then, to the nation's sports fans, the biggest news in quite a while is building tonight in Chicago, where world heavyweight champion Rocky Marciano is about to meet that challenge from ex-champ Jersey Joe Walcott. We sent correspondent Tom Casey to the weighing-in ceremonies today, and... He recorded this report at that dramatic scene. Well, Mother told me there would be days like this. Shall we try once again for Chicago? Calling Tom Casey in Chicago. Our cue is this report at that dramatic scene. Unfortunately, we had been told earlier today that Tom Casey had recorded a very fascinating report at the weighing in ceremonies in which he had the voices of both Joe Wolcott and Rocky Marciano. Let's see what else we have in the news to talk about this evening on a memorable headline edition, at least to me. 
Suppose we come back to you in, uh, in uh, just a moment or two. On this cue, I'll be back in a minute with more news. Headline edition is one of over 60 top ABC news shows brought to you each week by a distinguished staff of reporters, analysts, and commentators. ABC specializes in swift, accurate, and complete reporting of the latest happenings here and abroad. That kind of news coverage doesn't just happen. A trained newsman fills in the coloring that brings the event to life, but it takes an experienced correspondent to know how that event fits the overall news pattern. Now, here again is Headline Edition. With portions transcribed, what portions? That's today's Headline Edition. Here's a moment from one of your favorite quiz programs. The answer to this question is famous author Alexander Dumas. Here's your question. Now, there was a famous French author. In fact, there was a father and son who wrote many, many famous stories. Now, we want the name of the father. He is a man who wrote The Black Tulip, After 20 Years, and The Three Musketeers. What is the name of this famous French oh, author? Man, it's a, I got it on the tip of my tongue. Come on. Uh, let me see. Oh, Alexander Dumbass. <laughs> oh, Henry Dumbass. <laughs> Let's listen to this recipe for crisp crab salad. Uh, and for all you guests here at the lunchtime matinee, we have a real treat in store. A crisp cropped, uh, a crabbed cri um, me, um, cra ooh. Our next subject, Mr. Anthony, is Mrs. G.J. of the Bronx. She finds great humiliation in the fact that her parents constantly castigate her husband. What is your problem, madam? Well, concerning my husband, he, Would you I, step closer to the microphone, oh, please, and speak louder? Oh, all right. Uh, my husband, we've been happily married for 14 years, and mm -hmm. I, I just don't know what's happened all of a sudden. It's, I, I don't know how to explain it, but suddenly my husband pays no attention to me, and I try. Would you I, please get yes, to the point, madam? Yes. Yes, Mr. Anthony, I will. Uh, well, it seems that yesterday my father came down and he castrated my husband uh, about that's the subject. I understand by your problem, madam. Uh, well, he... I know. Now, will you, will you uh, hold one second, please? No, I please. figured my I, father was a man and my second, husband please, was a man. Madam, one and moment, please, madam. Yes. One moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> On a science program... A learned professor was demonstrating the principles of friction. Now I take my ball bearings here, and I put them at the top of the ramp, and I roll my balls down the ramp. Now, you see, they are no longer in a state of inertia. They are moving. There's gravity involved, and there's, uh, there's the, the, the friction involved. But once you get into movements, you, you have a, a different set of controls entirely. All your movements are controlled by physics. Friday is poultry night, remember. All ladies present will get a free goose. <laughs> that is, all ladies will get a goose for free. Two of the greatest names in early radio were Billy Jones and Ernie Hare, the Happiness Boys. Perhaps some old timers may remember this incident. How do you do, everybody? How do you do? How do you do, everybody? How do you do? Billy Jones and Ernie Hare with the interwoven pair. How do you do? Do 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 do. Hey Billy, please tell me something. Yeah. Do you know a car that starts with B? B B B B. That's a Buick. That's right. Now before we get on to our car song, how about a car that starts with H? H H. That's a automobile. And a car that starts with P. With P. Don't kid me. No car starts with P. We make this offer to help you discover the real smoking pleasure of these truly fine. <laughs> <coughs> Cigars. <coughs> Cut the mic. It's a very thrilling sight here at the Municipal Auditorium. Tonight the season opens with a gala charity performance of Puccini's La Boheme. The house lights dim as the maestro takes his place on the podium. I see Mrs. Lucille Carter, the charwoman of the Cultural Committee, coming down the aisle. All eyes are on her as she picks her seat. 
Here is an incident that occurred on an audience participation program where the contestant should have left well enough alone. And if you answer this question, you'll be richer by $25. I'll name five parts of the body beginning with the letter B. Oh. Uh, brains, bones, uh, blood, uh, balls. <laughs> I mean, eyeballs. Before our next recorded selection, here is our daily birth announcement from the municipal hospital. Last night at the hospital, 42 babies were born. And now, don't blame me. Important news bulletins are put on the air at the earliest possible moment but sometime they raise havoc with a regularly scheduled program as witness this interruption of a Wild Bill Hickok episode starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine. He's heading for the pass. You better cut him off, Jingles. We interrupt this program to bring you a bulletin from the Mutual Newsroom, according to an announcement from Moscow Radio. Laurenti Beria has just been executed. We now return you to Wild Bill Hickok. Well, I don't want to hold him for a little Wild Bill. Here's another incident from one of the popular quiz programs heard by millions. Now, before we get to your next question, let me ask you a few questions. You are nervous, are you? A little. What are you nervous about? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, let me talk about your family for a second. How many brothers you got? Seven. Seven brothers? Uh -huh. How many sisters? I've got seven sisters, too. Seven brothers and seven sisters? Mm hmm Gee, what a family. You said you were married, didn't you? Yeah. How many children do you have? One. Only one? Give me a chance. I've only been married a month. A television salesman was demonstrating a new do-it-yourself airplane kit for youngsters. Well, now, you can have this model plane all for yourself, and it's a lot of fun. You just take this kit, and it comes completely set up for you. All the parts are ready to put together. You take the parts, and you... Well, now, you... Well, this section here is... Well, it... Well, just a minute now. It must be a little stiff. But you know... <laughs> this is a very educational toy. It teaches children how to cuss. An open microphone can be dangerous. Let's tune in on a local high school amateur hour. The unpredictable ad lib has given more than one announcer gray hair, as this man on the street program interview announcer learned. Here we are with our man on the street microphone at the corner of 7th and Market Streets, and we're about to have another one of our daily programs interviewing the questioning folks from in and around our area. First of all, let's see, let's find an interviewee here. Uh, here's a charming young lady. Would you like to talk to us today? Hell no! Weather forecast programs very often originate from airports, with weather personnel doubling as announcers. Their inexperience and lack of suitable studio facilities sometimes produce unexpected results. Good afternoon. The agricultural bulletin for northwestern South Carolina today through Wednesday is for temperatures to average about 5 degrees above the normal of 76. Hold it a minute, will you down there? Okay, let's start over, boys. Uh, <clears throat> good afternoon. The agricultural bulletin for northwestern South Carolina today through Wednesday is for temperatures to average about five degrees above the normal for the period of 76. Hey, you hold a minute. Continued warm weather expected. Our low temperature this morning was 70 after yesterday's high of 93. And now back to your studio. Okay, boys. One away. 
There's excitement in store on our Million Dollar Movie tonight with Ann Sheridan. Stay tuned as Phillips Milk of Magnesia brings you Woman on the Run. Clock shows 28 seconds to go. There's the snap back to center. Looks like a pass. It is a pass. Intercepted by Ostrowski, number 42. He's up to the 10, the 20, the 30. He passed the midfield strike. He's running wild. He's going. He's going. Look at that son of a bitch run. <laughs> 